hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video guys you can see the error on the screen your pc ran into problems and needs to restart the stop code is unmountable boot volume so as you can see here the message is showing that unmountable boot volume it means that your windows drive where the booting file has been stored is corrupted so you have to fix this issue guys in order to recreate the new booting file on your windows since the existing booting files are corrupted and no more available to help or even load the windows so that's why you are getting the unmountable boot device volume so you can troubleshoot this issue in a two way so first of all you can boot your system directly from the bootable pen drive or even you can shut down your system two to three times as and see if you are able to access the recovery environment or not most of the cases two to three time should work but if not you can boot from the usb pen drive make the bootable pen drive i will link a video how to make a bootable pen drive then you need to process you have to press the bootable key on your system it depends on the system which system you are using in the hp laptop the bootable key will be f10 key if you are using dell it will be f2 or f12 key and in the Lenovo laptop guys it it can be F10 or F9 key so you have to choose that and once you have booted from your USB you need to follow the process so once you have turned off your laptop you need to boot from the pen drive so insert your pen drive into the laptop and just turn it on your laptop and once you turn it on your laptop you need to press bootable key so in my case the bootable key is F10 key so you need to press the way like this so once you have booted from your pen drive you have to adjust a bootable order in your laptop so you need to click on then next and you need to click on this option which says startup repair or repair your PC now you should be able to boot from the USB pen drive so click on this option troubleshoot now you need to click on the option which says command prompt now in here guys we need to execute some commands here first of all you need to make sure that where the window has been installed so in order to check that where the window has been installed it is basically installed in the c drive but it's better to check that you need to type a disk part Now we need to type a list space disk. So as you can see here guys, I have the two disks here. Disk 0 is my laptop hard drive SSD and the disk 1 is my USB pen drive. So I need to make sure that where has been window installed. So I need to type on the command select SEL cell disk SEL disk 0 now we need to type for the list volume inside the disk list wall this is the command now you should able to see all the partition inside your disk so C drive is my windows partition you can see 150 GB accordingly you need to check that okay so once you have confirmed that where the window has been installed you need to execute some commands here so we need to exit out from the disk part also cls now i need to go to the c drive the command is c now when i type a dir so c I have all the windows drive here windows users is there windows drive is there program files 86 program files are there it means that we are in the correct drive so we need to execute some commands here guys in order to fix that so we need to type for the command sfc space sfc space forward slash scan now this command will repair the windows 
booting files so you can see it is processing now it will go to 100% you have to wait here until it gets completed so the command is completed successfully we need to type for the command c h k d s k space forward slash f space forward slash r and then the drive letter where the window has been installed it is in the c drive in my case and then you need to give the colon and once you give the colon you need to hit enter here guys and you need to press here y in order to execute this command now so this command basically will go to five stages and will repair the bed sector inside your ssd or the hard drive i need to cancel this guys but you need to you don't need to cancel this process this you have to wait here so once the command is executed you have to cross this out and check if you are able to boot with your normal windows just boot your just click on this option ex exit and continue with windows 10 or even you can turn off your pc and then remove your pen drive and boot normally from your windows and see if that is able to fix your issue or not if not then again go to the recovery mode and boot from your pen drive then click on troubleshoot click on command prompt and just open it up again we need to go to the c directory c colon and we need to execute some commands here guys so in order to repair the windows booting files we need to execute the commands here boot rec b o o t boot rec space forward slash fix mbr okay this is the command you need to execute just hit enter once this command is executed we need to type the next command boot rec space forward slash fix boot this command if the access is denied we need to type for the command just press up arrow key and boot, boot rec space nt60 space sys sys and hit enter now type the app arrow key now in this command and execute this and after that you have to ignore this message access denied just type the command boot rec even you can press up arrow key and this time we need to type her rebuilt bcd bcd this will create the booting file hit enter now once you execute this command you need to cross this out from here just cross this out and continue turn off your pc and then turn it on again remove the usb restore your system if you are able to do that restore your system when the system was working fine see i have created the system restore just click on next and hit your finish option and click on yes option if you have created the system restore if not you are not able to perform this step so you have to basically reset your pc guys or you have to reinstall the fresh window on your system so i hope guys you are able to fix the issue if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching